I was so hungry. Oh my gosh. I never eat before I do cardio in the morning. So this was much needed because I was feeling my energy just like tanking. I bought this weight scale from um, TikTok shop, but basically like you can weigh anything and you just have to scan the label of the product and it'll kind of give you all the breakdowns of like the fat, the protein, the carbs. So I've been using it to really just track my carbs and my protein. I like love this uh, little device. It was like 30 bucks from the TikTok shop. I was influenced because I kept seeing it on my feed, but it's actually like really great. I think they do have it on Amazon as well, but and it'll probably get here faster uh, if you got it through Amazon. But I really like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and leave a link down below if you want to track your macros. It pretty much has like everything, like almost everything in their database. If you scan the barcode to your food products, but you can like input it. It's kind of like my fitness pal, but I feel like it's better than my fitness pal because you can like actually weigh your food and get like an accurate number. I haven't really been filming as much these past couple of weeks. I've just been trying to like do all the things necessary to start my new job in a couple of months. As a nurse practitioner, I didn't realize how much paperwork is involved. Um, I filled out my MPI license, so I'm just waiting on that number. I finally got my APRN license, so that process was actually pretty quick because I was worried that it would take a couple of months to get my license, but it only took like a week and a half after I submitted my application to boards. So um, now I'm really just waiting to get my APRN protocol filled out by my delegating physician. And then once he fills that out, I have to submit it to the medical board for review. And that can take 30 days, 30 days to 60 days. So it's a process and I can't start working like as a nurse practitioner until I get that APRN protocol reviewed and approved. So, you know, I have an anticipated start date in a couple of months, but if I don't get this protocol like filled out and set to board, to the board, um, then, you know, my, my start date is just gonna get pushed back. Just kind of like at a standstill right now. I have to set up a couple of things with like we use a certain kind of like messaging service like an after hours messaging service so i have to set that up so like if patients want to send me any kind of like questions or if anyone needs to reach out to me like after hours i use this platform so i need to set that up but um it's a lot <laughs> it's a lot i didn't even realize as time gets closer and closer to my start date like i am feeling a little bit of anxiety um, because it's just, it's gonna be new. It's a new role for me. I worked yesterday and it's nice because it kind of like keeps my nursing brain fresh on PRN. So I haven't studied, like I've been out of school for almost like two months and I haven't really studied anything. I'm keeping my skills alive by going to work, but I'm worried that like, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So I've actually been trying to stay, like keep my nurse practitioner brain cells alive by watching videos on Pygmonic. I have a video on my channel, like a more in-depth thorough video on Pygmonic, but basically it's like a website that has like a million and one nursing videos, but the videos that they use are very animated and it uses a lot of mnemonics to help you remember like key concepts to medications and diagnoses and labs and stuff. So I've pretty much been watching videos mainly on pharmacology. So I do have a little bit of anxiety about now be prescribing. So I want to make sure that I know like everything about the common medications that I'll be prescribing. And you know, I'll have like on the job resources. Like I even have apps on my phone. I use uh, Hippocrates. I have five minute clinic console on here. And um, I have the CDC and there's up to date. I think my job will have up to date anyways. So I have like a bunch of resources that I'll use on the job. Plus I'll be asking the physicians if I have any questions, but in this like waiting period, I've been watching Pygmonic videos. I do have a 20% off promo code in my bio. So if you are like a nursing student or an MP student or a pre-nursing student, definitely check it out. I talked about it in my last video, but I do think that it would be really helpful if you're in that phase 
of just like remembering certain things about like nursing concept. I'm kind of whispering because my daughter, I think she's still sleeping. She may have, sometimes she wakes up like super early and then we'll give her a bottle and she, she'll go back to sleep for like a little mini hour nap. So, um, but I think that she's waking up because I hear her voice. So I'm gonna prepare her breakfast and then my husband already has breakfast. I'm gonna make him some avocado toast and I have this beef sausage that's really good from Whole Foods. We've been like shopping at Whole Foods more often now. I just like want quality food and I feel like they have like that with their meats and their veggies and stuff. We do like Trader Joe's but sometimes it is like a drive to Atlanta. It's not that far, it's like right up the road. But um, sometimes I just like don't feel like driving and Whole Foods delivers. So it's much better to just like order it online and get it delivered to our doorstep. So today I'm just going to meal prep some food to eat for the week because I really I want to eat clean. I always like try and refresh on Sunday Mondays. So I want to eat like home cooked food all week. So I'm going to meal prep some salmon and then I bought like this closet organizer because I feel like our closet is a disaster, so I'm gonna do that later. I used to get my lashes done like all the time but then I was just so sick of going every two to three weeks to get my lashes filled lying down for an hour and then spending all of that money like a hundred bucks every two weeks I just didn't have the time for it so I started using the kiss press on lashes and I think that they look really good I just order it straight from their website they last for like a week and you can't really tell that they're press on unless you're like really looking but it gets like a nice subtle look that you got your lashes done without it being like too extra so I look a little bit put together now task for today is to clean my closet really this whole upper area is a disaster it's kind of like organized chaos because I know where everything is but I bought the these little like shelving things from Amazon so I'm gonna put all these up here and hopefully it'll look a little bit better if anyone wants this Prada wallet I'm gonna list it to my Poshmark because I really don't use it anymore I initially got it for I think 650 maybe 700 with um, tax but it's like my very first designer item that I bought when I first became a nurse. I just don't carry around cash anymore because it has like the little pocket for cash and then it has all of like the card slots and then it has a little section for coins but I just use my um I have like a I'm so out of breath moving all these clothes but um I have like the Louis V uh, car key holder that has like the card slots in it so I just use that and plus like I Apple Pay for my phone anyways but I just have this wallet it looks really good like it still looks like brand new so if anyone wants it let me know I'm just gonna post it post it to my Poshmark I think I might do like 200 or something uh so I've been thinking about like selling these like all of my figs and stuff these are my pre-pregnancy scrubs but unfortunately I feel like I'm never going to fit them again I'm a year postpartum and I just don't think that this is my size now 
because a lot of them are small and extra small but I'm more of like a medium large so I'm thinking about listing these two but we'll see So I'm thinking gym, jeans, scrubs, miscellaneous. So I was thinking about putting my gym clothes in one of these baskets, but I realized like it's just going to get too messy because sometimes I want to wear like long pants, short pants. So I think I'm just going to hang up my gym clothes. I bought like a specific hanger from TikTok shop where it's like one hanger but it has like multiple clips to it. So I'm able to like see all of my gym outfits and I'm able to like hang it up. So I think I'm gonna put my jeans instead of hanging it up, fold it here and put my scrubs here. And then, um, and then just put like my bags over here. These were my nurse practitioner clinical scrubs. I think I'm gonna hold on to them for now. I'm gonna get rid of all my other old scrubs that I just do not fit anymore. But honestly, like at a certain point, I'm just gonna get rid of all my scrubs and just get like a brand new set. I plan on wearing scrubs and business casual when I do start working, but I'll hold on to these for now just in case. I'll stuff them back here. I really liked the black pair of scrubs that I had from Figs, but the my waistline band, it's just way too tight. That's the only thing I don't really like about scrub bottoms. I think I just have to get the right size, but now that I'm like postpartum, I have like a mom pooch. So the waistband is just a little bit too tight, like too snug. So I need to, um, I really need to get like brand new scrubs that fit me comfortably, even like at work and stuff. But I'm not going to buy any because I'm going to be putting in my notice soon. I don't know when, but soon. And I don't want to like buy Navy scrubs. So I'm never going to wear them again. So I think this looks much better. It's not complete chaos anymore, but organized it from tops to pants and skirts to dresses, long sleeve button ups. And then I got my scrubs, jeans, sweatpants over here. So it's a little bit better. I do wish that we had a bigger closet, but the next house that we buy, it'll be much bigger. But yeah, my life is, just a little piece of my life is easier by just organizing. <laughs> whispering again because my daughter just went to sleep it just put her to sleep so we're back to whispering but i finished um meal prepping it was actually like really good and it was clean i love like fatty salmon i air fried it so it was nice and crispy and then i did like a little glaze like a honey glaze it was really good and I was able to track my food for the whole day. My goal is like 1500 calories, 1400-ish calories, uh, 72 grams of protein. I think that's pretty good. I guess I went a little bit overboard with my fats, but like I had avocado and salmon. So I don't know if that is anything 
the only like fatty thing I had today was um, I made like a little ranch sauce for lunch with sour cream and mayonnaise so maybe that's where it is and also the sausage sausage from this morning but overall I think I did pretty good I feel I feel really clean and I'm almost done with my two liters of water so I've really just been trying to establish like a good nighttime morning routine we've just been or I just feel like I don't have a good routine like we'll stay up until 11 o'clock 12 at night because we want to just like chill just have our hours to ourselves when our daughter goes to sleep around now but we pay for it in the morning because we're just like tired and groggy but then we have to wake up early because she's up early and you know i'm spending the last couple hours of my day just like sometimes i'm just scrolling like the phone is in my face not a good routine so what i've been doing is i've been very intentional about the time that i go to sleep so i've been trying to go to bed at 10 o'clock i think that's a pretty reasonable time and i've been trying to drink magnesium because i've heard magnesium really helps you sleep like relax you and stuff so i bought this um magnesium supplement powder it's this one by moon juice i bought like their small packets to see if i like it or even see if it works i got it from amazon the package came like really beat up so some of them are were like broken but yeah so i've been trying to do this i've actually been mixing it with sparkling water to make it kind of like a little mocktail it tastes okay like it tastes you know decent um does it help me i've only tried it twice so far i don't know if it helps me go to sleep to be honest um because the two times that i did it i did it once the night before i went to work yesterday so like the day before that the night before that and i kept i kept waking up which i always kind of wake up the night before my shift i don't know why i can never sleep well before i have to go to work i don't know what it is but i wake up at least like three or four times at night so i tried to take this to see if i would sleep through the night and i didn't so i'm gonna try again today let's see what flavor we should do i like the berry calm i've been drinking it in this like little wine glass to feel fancy to feel like i'm drinking wine because that's really what i would like to drink but my dogs are crazy Get the sparkling water it doesn't taste bad i think that it's a good like nighttime drink especially with like sparkling water to help your gut um but maybe it takes like a couple of drinks like a couple of days for it to kick in um i don't know but i'll keep y'all posted with that to see if it's actually gonna work for me i feel like today has been very productive i'm gonna finish up tonight watching some videos i've really been focusing on antibiotics now so i've been watching this video on tetracyclines and it was such a good refresher about like all the things that i was learning in nurse practitioner school and studying for boards pigmonic they use like really good visuals to help you remember things like they really do this one on tetracyclines like it has a tarantula with yellow teeth to like symbolize that it stains teeth in children and it has like a boy in a skeleton costume because it's stunts growth in kids like the kid is taking a picture of the tarantula to symbolize the photosensitivity that you can get with taking like doxycycline and stuff like that so it's really helpful they have two different versions they have like an educational version where they explain everything as it goes along but it also has a story version too which i enjoy looking at it kind of puts everything together and it has little pop-ups of like the key facts that you should know and it has like more like a more detailed explanation I plan on watching them until i start practice but it's really been helpful because i don't really have any other resources i have my nursing my np school books but there is like it's a lot like it's super thick and there's so many words and i don't have time to read 
chapters on chapters. I have time to watch a minute and a half, two minute animated video on the same thing. So I'm gonna finish up watching this on Tetris Cyclines and then, um, and then we're gonna finish up watching House of Dragons for this week. We were too tired yesterday, so we're gonna finish it up today. So I will catch you guys later.